One of the most impressive and costly technological achievements of our time is the James Webb Space Telescope. Further, it is among the greatest and most sophisticated space observatories NASA has ever developed. This is due to the fact that the JWST has snapped some absolutely magnificent images of our galaxy, including images of nebulae and star clusters. If you want to be kept up to speed on NASA news, the James Webb Space Telescope, and other space-related developments, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's delve into these stunning images. Number 1. Sculpting the Landscape This brilliant region exposes arcs and bubbles generated when stellar winds, which are streams of charged particles released by the trapezium stars, impact with material. The stellar winds are emitted by the trapezium stars. 1400 light years separate us from this region, which may be found in the constellation of Oran. Number 2. Firestorm of Starbirth NGC 604 is a brightly colored nebula that is one of the largest known sites of star formation in our galaxy. NGC 604 is a star-forming region like the more well-known Orion Nebula in our Milky Way galaxy, but it is much larger and contains many more young stars in a luminous cloud of gases 1,300 light-years across, nearly 100 times the size of the Orion Nebula, are more than 200 bright blue stars. The Orion Nebula, in comparison, is centered on only four stars. All of NGC 604's brilliant stars only formed about 3 million years old, making them among the youngest in the galaxy. Number 3. Mega Star Birth The so-called Lynx Arc is a newly discovered faraway supercluster containing a million blue-white stars that are twice as hot as equivalent stars in our Milky Way galaxy. The Lynx Arc is a million times brighter than the neighboring classic Starbirth region, the Orion Nebula, which can be seen via modest telescopes. The Lynx Arc stars have surface temperatures of up to 80,000 degrees Celsius, making them more than twice as hot as the core stars of the Orion Nebula. There are larger and brighter star-forming regions in our local universe than the Orion Nebula, but none have as many burning stars as the Lynx Arc. Number 4. Blowing Cosmic Bubbles An expanding shell of luminous plasma can be seen in this image from the James Webb Space Telescope, which was provided by NASA and the European Space Agency. The image was taken in our galaxy's Milky Way. Strong stellar winds of material and radiation created by the brilliant star to the left, which is 10 to 20 times more massive than our sun, are shaping the shell. These winds are contributing to the formation of the shell. Number 5. NGC 6826 The Planetary Nebula Two horizontal rows of blood-red flyers impair the otherwise eye-like appearance of NGC 6826. It is thought that the surrounding weak green-white of the eye represents gas that comprised about half of the star's mass over the majority of its life. The hot Redmond star at the oval center blows a strong wind into the surrounding older material, creating a hot bubble within and pushing the older gas outward to create a bright rim. It is one among the brightest stars in any solar system. The globular cluster NGC 6826 can be found in the constellation Cygnus, 2,200 light years distant. Number 6. Massive star birth in N81. In this family image, Taken by the NASA or ESA James Webb Space Telescope, a cluster of newborn, ultra-luminous stars can be seen nestled within their nascent, luminous clouds. And 81, the Stellar Maternity Ward, is situated in the Small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, a small, irregular satellite galaxy of our Milky Way, at a distance of 200,000 light-years. Number 7. A Free-Floating Discovery a big hot bubble of ionized gas is produced when a massive new star, or stars, begins to light, while still inside the cool molecular cloud from which it emerged. Astonishingly, the free GGs are found within this bubble of hot gas surrounding a nearby big star. These free GGs are black compact globules of dust and gas, some of which are also giving birth to low-mass stars. Intriguing purple and blue outlines may be observed marking the transition from the dusty, cold free GG to the hot gas bubble. Number 8. A Pulsating Relic The planetary nebula NGC 2452 may be seen in the southern constellation Puppis in this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Once a star like our sun has burned up all of its fuel, it will fade into the blue haze you see across the screen. 
This causes the star's core to become unstable, unleashing a barrage of extremely high energy particles that rips the star's atmosphere to shreds and sends it hurtling into space. The remnant of the star that created this nebula can be seen at the center of the blue cloud. Since gravity causes waves to pulse throughout the little star's body, this chilly, faint, and highly dense star is actually a pulsing white dwarf, meaning its brightness varies over time. Number 9. A Changing Fan even though the timescales involved can be extremely lengthy, the universe is rarely static. Since the beginning of modern astronomical studies, humans have been keeping a close eye on stellar nurseries, examining the tiny shifts that give us clues about what's going on inside. VPV Cephei, or PV Cep for short, is a young star that can be seen at the edge of the bluish fan-shaped structure. In this web view, the nebulosity, which is fan-shaped and goes by the names GM 1-29, and Julbudehian's nebula is a popular target for amateur astronomers since it undergoes noticeable changes over the course of months. The star's luminosity has also changed through time. Number 10. An Eye in the Sky Planetary Nebula NGC 3918 is a dazzling cloud of colorful gas in the constellation Centaurus, roughly 4,900 light years from Earth. As seen in this spectacular image, from the NASA or ESA James Webb Space Telescope. There may be two distinct gas ejections responsible for the eye-like structure of NGC 3918, which consists of a brilliant inner shell of gas and a more diffuse outer shell that spreads far from the nebula. This is not the case, however. Observations of the object imply that both were produced simultaneously but are being ejected from the star at separate velocities. It is believed that the tremendous jets of gas shooting forth from the ends of the huge structure are traveling at speeds of up to 350,000 kilometers per hour when they leave the star. Number 11. The Final Colorful Splash NGC 6326 is a planetary nebula that was photographed by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is illuminated by the light of a dying star at its center. After a star reaches the end of its red giant phase, it will begin to shed its outer layers of gas, revealing a hot, compact remnant called a white dwarf. However, NGC 6326 is not like other galaxies where the ejected gas forms beautiful symmetrical patterns. About 11,000 light years from Earth in the constellation Aura, the altar, lies this mysterious object. Once created in the cores of stars, elements heavier than hydrogen and helium are spread into space in a variety of ways, one of the most prominent being planetary nebulae. One day, planets and stars could develop from some of this scattered matter. The still hot center star emits powerful ultraviolet light, causing the surrounding material to glow with brilliant reds and blues. Are you as captivated as I am by these amazing JWST images? Which image struck you the most and why? Please share your thoughts in the space provided below. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future updates on the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, or anything else in the cosmos. We'll be back with you in a new video very shortly.